So y'all, it is haul time. I got some hauls to share with you guys. Um, got some things from Ross, some Burger King. This isn't food. It's <laughs> kids gonna talk. I'll show you a second and a couple uh some stuff from the mail. Um some from eBay, little little something from eBay, and something else I'll, I'll well you'll see later on. But before I uh jump into these hauls. Uh, I just want to chat real quick about a couple things. Um, first off, anybody watching Lost in Space on Netflix? Man, it is good. Um, I I was a fan of the original. Uh, I used to watch reruns. You know, it's it's a black and white. I forget exactly what year I'm imagining. 60s? Um, I used to watch reruns since I was a kid and, you know, remained a fan of it you know, through, through my youth and, and adulthood, uh, and I actually even liked the movie, um, what year was the movie, uh, I'm thinking early 2000s, so I was pretty surprised to hear that, you know, Netflix was gonna be doing a Lost in Space series, I mean, excited, definitely, um, but I didn't know what to expect, you know, because there was nothing except for just, you know, the news that they were gonna be doing one, but, uh, you know, given Netflix's track record, there really shouldn't have been any any uh, need to be skeptical or anything and just, just be excited. But, you know, again, there was nothing to go off of other than that they were doing it. And then it finally just came out. Um, the first episode, it was it was slow. I'll be honest, you know, I, I don't have much time to just sit and watch to begin with. Uh, I rarely have that time and pretty much just when I eat. Um and and I, I often do watch stuff in increments uh, anyway, but like I said, honestly, that first episode, it was slow. I don't know if it was just the mood I was in or no, because I mean, I don't know. Anyway, I got through it. I mean, I did like it. It was just really slow. It wasn't really exciting or anything. But, I mean, I, I, I was still interested. And then after getting through that, come the second episode, it really picks up. And it just, it's good. It's just, ever since, its it's been really good. And I'm i am actually just, I'm going to be on the last episode already, which it's almost like I want to prolong uh, or, you know, put off watching it just because it's like, you know, after it's done, it's like, ah, oh, then, you know, there, there goes the wait. You know, that's how it is. It sucks. You watch a good series on Netflix or something, and then it's like, it's over. And you got to wait like a year until... The- until the next season so anyway yeah lost in space really good and then um a couple other things um so i wanted a few days back i was excited uh was it last week or the week before um i'd heard from a few friends and then then it was also all over social media um that the uh that ultimate rc batmobile had hit costco for only seventy nine ninety nine, you know this thing was over two hundred. I forget the original retail price, but I want to say it was around two fifty. So eighty bucks—that's a damn steal. But I didn't, you know. And then um, the bro Chris Rex Rex All sixty nine, he let me know that it actually hit here in Vegas uh, at at Costco, which is actually not far from me. It's like about a five minute drive. Um, I did, I just didn't get a chance to go right away, but at the same time, to be honest, I, I kind of, aside from wanting to share the news here with you guys, I mean, I could, you know, there's also Instagram and stuff like that, but, um, I, I, I just like, I wasn't in a rush just cause it's like, eh, I kind of, I, I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to pick it up and at the same time it's like eh, it'll be there i don't know why why i was thinking why why i didn't just think man it'll be um it'll be gone fast i mean considering the fact that it was originally a 200 plus 250 dollar toy for only 80 bucks yeah i should have i should have i should have realize that it would fly off the shelf so anyway i was kind of bummed because then you know it made me feel like you know i really want to share the news guys you know for those of you who might not know and you know you watch my my channel but at the same time it's like i might have wanted to grab it you know realizing 80 bucks for something that was 
originally 250. I won't get into the reasons why I, I originally decided to to not get it, even though I originally had it pre-ordered months before it actually came out. I had a pre. I wanted it so bad. I actually had it pre-ordered at two places and just was like, well, whichever one ships first, you know, I'll go for it and, and then I'll cancel the other one. But anyway, um, so that sucks. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Let's get into these hauls. Uh, one other thing, uh, if, if any of you who are watching this are actually local here to Las Vegas, um, I, I'm still not a hundred percent. I didn't post the ad yet anyway. I, I originally had planned to do a, a, a garage sale, uh, this coming Saturday, the 28th, I believe, but, um, it's not hundred percent set in stone. I'm still going to prepare for it, but some things might come up. Uh, but just stay tuned, uh, you know, if you're local and you are a collector, you probably would be on, on offer up, uh, and, or, you know, check Craigslist. I'm, I'll probably be posting it on both of those anyway. So anyway, all right, let's get into these hauls. Okay. First I got a few things from Ross, some, uh, mega blocks, mega constructs goodness. Um, got this mega constructs destiny set. It's a EV37 Racing Sparrow, uh, $5.99. Um, you know, I, I'm not too familiar. I mean, well, no. I'm not too knowledgeable in Destiny just because I've never played it, but I'm very familiar with it. Um, haven't collected much of the sets. Uh, what did I... I think I only have... I'm not 100% sure, but I only I think I only picked up the one set so far that I I got on clearance at a Target a while back. And I've been seeing these these sets. I don't know if they're all sparrows. Um you know, but these these sets of these little like speeders and a figure, a couple figures and stuff. And you know, a lot of them look cool, but then it, this one just really caught my attention. The speeder itself looks really cool, and then this this dude Again, you know, forgive my lack of knowledge. <laughs> if you're a, if you're a big fan of Destiny, but I'm like, I just see a cool looking dude. I don't know exactly what they're called, but he's got a mohawk and everything. And then this big guy, um, yeah, there's no there's no description here to tell me exactly what these are. But yeah, that just looks cool. And for only for only six bucks, is that originally how much these things were? Sixteen bucks. Could have sworn they were less, but still, six bucks is is a damn good price for that. And then uh, this as well, I I've, I've been seeing this like you know for for a long time now at Ross's and other places or DD's discounts, and I keep passing on it. But I figure you know I might as well grab it already. You know for only four ninety nine, can't go wrong. Casey Jones, Donnie. Pretty cool. So looking forward to adding that to my Nickelodeon Ninja Turtles collection. I I, I actually think I have um I don't want to say all or even a majority, but I have a lot of the uh the Nick Mega Blocks uh Nick TMNT Mega Block sets, I including the uh, the layer. Um, so there's a few other minor sets that I, I haven't gotten, and uh, I'm not trying to complete them all. But it's cool to, to actually have a pretty big collection of these. And then, moving on. These were an interesting find. These Star Wars Hot Wheels, uh, or Hot Wheels Star Wars character cars, uh, sets. So this one's the Rancor Rumble. And it's only $8.99. I don't recall ever seeing these. Previously, uh, or maybe I could have just overlooked them, but regardless, even if I did like at Walmart Target, uh, I don't know if that was really the original price 17 bucks. I, I want to think they were actually more, but regardless, $8.99, I'm sure that's that's a great price for what these are. Uh, and there's this other one here Rathtar Escape. So this one's got an exclusive BB 8 car. This one's got an exclusive Gamorrean Guard car. Um, and these actually look really cool. This one especially, for me personally, I don't like how you have the whole Jabba's Palace on top of it and the big Rancor right there. And then, uh, on this one. 
as seen in uh, The Force Awakens, this, I believe, was that thing on the, um, I forget what the ship was called that, that uh, Han Solo was on, but I think that's, that's what this is recreating, so pretty cool. Uh, again, only eight ninety nine, and you know, like I said, I I don't know if I just overlooked them, but I I don't recall seeing these at regular stores. And then from Burger King, I was actually just picking up a uh, kids meal for my daughter, and uh, before I took off, I actually you know took wanted to see what the toy was because you know don't don't get uh, kids meals from from Burger King very often. And so I don't know if this is actually the current toy or is this one of those cases where they they were just still having older toys because they didn't have any of the newer ones. But I was surprised to see. It's Justice League action and this is actually like a, a Harley Quinn uh, headband thing. Complete with like some stickers. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, so I guess it is current through March 18. So, you know, it's not current anymore, but it was when I had gotten it like uh, a week or so ago. And then um, Superman. I don't know if there was, if there's more in the set, but, you know, Burger King actually typically only has like two or so toys. It's not like uh, McDonald's or anything. So this, this might have been it. I just asked. So when I saw this, I asked, oh, you know, do you have any other toys? They thought I, I wanted to exchange it. It was just, I want to see what else they have. Because I was like, yeah, whatever whatever other toys you have, I'll, I'll get it. And this was the only other one. So, pretty cool. Um, I'm, I'm almost thinking, you know, if I want to review these. I used to, I used to enjoy doing actually the, the kids meal reviews. But... We'll see. And then one little little thing off of eBay. So thanks to um, the bro Chris again. How many times going to mention him? <laughs> Rex Flex All Sixty Nine. He got me on this. Um, he's he got me started on uh, these loyal subjects uh, action vinyls. And so pretty much all the ones I got, except for. Um, the one exclusive, uh, pack off of Amazon, I got all from him at really great prices, but, you know, I, I pretty much have gotten all the ones he has that, that he has extras of to sell. So now I got to start looking elsewhere. And, um, so I was looking to get some of the ones I, I would really want off of eBay. And, you know, I'm all about the latest. Had to get Chitara for my um, Thundercats. I love these little loyal subjects. To me, they're they're almost like the perfect, you know, um, what do you want to call it? Like chibi style, you know, big heads, small body type toys. Um, there are the, uh, what are those called? Um... Oh, I forget what they're called. Nendoroids. Those are those are pretty up there, but they're also way up there in price. Like I have what do I have? Two or three of them? Yeah, I have three. I have Harley, Suicide Squad, uh Harley, and Deadpool and um Dark Knight um trilogy Batman. And I love them, but they are expensive as hell and like I was kind of getting into them. I was like, man, I would love to collect a lot of these, but I don't know. It it really won't be often that I'll add to the to the to the collection with those. Um, and then you know, as far as a lower priced, but still really cute but cool at the same time, uh, these action vinyls have really grown on me. And you know, they're they're pretty articulated. They're not super articulated. Or even, I want to say, fully articulated because they don't have, like, elbow or knee. But they have enough articulation that you can you can get some cool action and poses out of them. And just aesthetic and design-wise, they look great for that, you know, cute kind of big head, small body. So, nice to add Chitara to my Thundercats and just my action vinyls collection in general. And definitely, 
definitely gonna be getting more. And I blame Chris for them. And then last but not least, so this has given you also a bit of a sneak peek. I'm not I'm not gonna pull this out. So I don't know if any of you are familiar with ready sets. Um I I discovered them a while back and I think it's cause they popped up as a sponsored ad on my Instagram feed. Um and I I was really interested. So they basically at the moment have two products available and for so long they only had one, which is this this urban uh playset. It's a pop-up playset. If any of you are uh, familiar with extreme sets, it's it's similar in concept. But there you go. So here it is. This is this is how it arrives. Now it really is just it's a self-contained thing, um, but it has a few add-on pieces. Now, when I say self-contained, so, all right, you see this? This right there? You just open it up, and it's kind of like a pop-up book. It's all in one piece, and you just fold it down. Nothing nothing to assemble other than, you know, uh, unfolding it and, and popping the, the, the things into place. But... It does have these 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 extra add-on pieces to kind of enhance it. They're, they it works fine on its own. That's that's how this set looks like, basically. And I actually I think I'll be doing a separate video where I actually show this. I don't know, you know, if it would be a formal review, but I will I will show it off more in detail. And this was the um, this was the exclusive, which is ironic. It was the Las Vegas Toy Con exclusive and it has a little exclusive uh, billboard uh i say ironic because i'm here in vegas but i didn't attend toy con um which was what a, a few months back so i was surprised I, I i hadn't known that they had this exclusive uh and they were gonna be at the con or else that might have been one other reason I might have considered going, and I uh, I won't get into it right now. But anyway, uh, this is a, a smaller version of their original Urban playset, which is more six inch scale. This is it's called Urban Eighteen because it's one eighteen scale, four inch, you know, four inch figure scale. So there you have it. Just a, a quick look at that. Um, this is you know both showing it as a haul and both showing it as if you're not familiar with this. Uh, you might, you might want to check them out, readysets.com. Um, I'm excited, really excited. I actually pulled it out when it arrived real quick to, to pop it open. And, um, it's not perfect, but for what it is, um, I'm really happy with it. And, um, unfortunately they sold out, uh, or they had originally sold out of the original Urban, uh, playset for 60 bucks. And right now they have a limited number of it in a, uh, I don't know exactly what it's called, but a limited edition version that comes signed and stuff, but it's like over a hundred bucks. So it's like, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll be content with this and, and, or just wait until any future releases they have. I don't know if I want to pay over a hundred for, for the original, uh, larger playset, which it is huge. I've seen like, uh, videos and pictures and stuff, but anyway, for now, uh, I will I will be doing a, another video on this uh, review, maybe. But there you have it. As always, hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching.